Ford Mustang is one of the world's most well-known, exciting and collectible cars. But which brand, when it comes to the little cars, makes the best Mustang? Daniel put them to the test to find out. So if you are in a supermarket in South Africa, there are many die-cost cars to choose from, but you not, might not know which one is the best. So we decided to buy all the brands that we could find that are Mustangs. So let's have a look at what we found. So here we have a Maestu Fresh Metal. It's 29 Rand, about a dollar and 70 cents. Here we have a Maruti. It is 5 Rand more than the Maestu. Well, looks really nice. Here we have a Hot Wheels. It is 5 Rand more than the Maruti. It's probably going to be the best on track. So then here we have a Matchbox. It's the same price as a Hot Wheels. And Mm, nice. Here we have a Maruti Deluxe. This is about double the Hot Wheels, but it's probably worth it. And uh, later on, I'll tell you why. So let's have a look at the Maestu Fresh Metal. Uh, I'm starting with this one because it's the cheapest, and since it is the cheapest, the box doesn't feel so like nice. Okay, so let's open it. Well, it looks pretty cool. It's nice that it has its badge on. That's the nice part about it. And it has also its tail lights. <laughs> it fits the color and its badge at the back. It drives nicely too. So this one, it doesn't have any uh, suspension, but it has some nice side mirrors and nothing opens on this one as you can see so here we have the Maruti which is 5 rand more than the Maisto its box feels really firm and it does feel quite nice so let's open it wow it's pretty heavy so let's look at the back of it it has some night backlights Looks really nice at the back, well done. And here, the lights, they're not, um, they look better than this ones because they actually have like little plastic parts in it. It has a badge also in here. And this one, it also has suspension. Look there, drives nicely. It also has some side mirrors and I love the color. So here we have the Hot Wheels. It doesn't have any front lights or back lights. Um, no suspension, but it drives really nicely. It doesn't have any side mirrors, but it is open here. As you can see with this one, it's not. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see it's here, Borla. I think that all the detail over here, it wins overall than the other ones. Here we have the Matchbox. It is the same price has the Hot Wheels, but I think it has better detail. It has nice front lights, back lights too, but it still doesn't have any suspension like the Maruti. It has a nice glittery color, nice glittery yellow color. It is a convertible and it looks pretty nice overall. Here we have something really special, a Maruti Deluxe Mustang GT. So as you can see here, <laughs> It has suspension, its doors open, and its boot also opens. It has rubber tires, and it also has suspension, also has side mirrors, so this one definitely wins. It has nice lights, and they put plastic in it, so it makes it look, you know, like it's real. Here we have the backlights, it has the back, it has the logo, so and it also has stripes, the color looks really nice. So I can say this one definitely wins overall, but remember, this one is double the money as the Hot Wheels and the Maruti. So if you really want a really nice collectible, you should get this. And also, it comes with a box, so it's a nice collectible car. So now let's go to the track and see which one is the fastest. Here I have all the Mustangs and I've ordered them from cheapest to the most expensive. 
So let's see which one's the fastest. Three, two, one, let's go. So what did we learn from this race? We learned that we shouldn't, you know, judge a book by its cover because this may used to, it might have been the cheapest, it might not have looked the best, but it did win the race. So and it, what, and it won it quite convincingly as well. <laughs> yeah. So what would you give it out of a 10? Um, overall, I'm, I don't really care all that much about speed. For me, it's more about the detailing. Um, and I think given the price, it's, it's not badly detailed. I, I'm not mad about the wheels. Um, I mean, it does feel very cheap. So I'm gonna give it, the speed doesn't matter to me, so I'm gonna give it still a five out of 10. I think I like it because it's fast. So I'd give it a six. Okay, what's next? So in second place that we raced, Hot Wheels second as you would expect one of the fastest cars mm -hmm. so well you could say it does live up to its name yeah i love the detail like the stripes and the border <laughs> yeah as far as hot wheels castings go this is not badly detailed it's it's a nice looking car i, I think they could have done a little bit more maybe some wing mirrors um, but you know hot wheels are inherently more collectible than the other cars so even at the price i would probably still give it a higher score uh, and for only 10 bucks more than a Maester's um, fresh metal, I would say it's probably worth it if you're looking for something to keep. If you're just looking for something to smash around in the garden, then the Maester is, is a good bet. Uh, but this one is one that you want to safeguard a little. Um, and I would give it a 7. Yeah, I think I'd also give it a 7. And in third place, we have the Matchbox. Uh, I love the detail on this car. I like that it's a convertible too. I think it did pretty well. Yeah, I mean it, it, uh, it pretty much matched the Hot Wheels uh, right up to the end. Um, same price as the Hot Wheels as well. I think that's because they're made by the same company and they don't want the one to, to eat into the other one's profits. But it's definitely better detail than the Hot Wheels. Um, I think the scale is probably a little bit off. Um, and to me that is quite important when it comes to a collectible, so I would still give it a 7. Mm. I mean it has more detail than the um, Hot Wheels, so I'd give it an 8. And I like the convertible too. Then, in 4th place... Du -du -du. We have the Maiorati Deluxe, my favourite. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to like that car. Yeah, it's so nice. Um, yeah, so it's not very fast, but we kind of expected that because it's quite heavy and the, and the, and the rubber tires does cause a lot of friction. But it's just got beautiful satin, um, red paintwork, uh, lovely opening details, opening boot, suspension. Mm -hmm. And you can just see that the, the contours and the, and the dimensions of the car is, is faithful to the uh, to the real car which to me is very important so as a collector and seeing as you get a collector's box with it as well if i was buying for myself i would spend double to get the my ready to likes and i would give this a nine i think i'd give it a nine and a half <laughs> i like this one so much ah, let's give it a ten yeah <laughs> okay there you go this one got a ten okay and then last but not right. least in the race. Yeah, in the, in the race. We have the Maretti. Yeah, um, again, I think, you know, Maretti always does the, the little details to me really well, even on the cheaper cars like this one. It's got plastic lights, painted taillights, it's got suspension. Um, obviously not exactly the same detail as the Deluxe, but even so, better detail than the um, than the Hot Wheels and, and, and the Matchbox, but uh, I must say there's a little chip here on the front end already, so maybe the paint isn't that good. But it is cheaper, um, I would give it an 8. 
Yeah, I also give it an 8. So overall then, I think what we've established is when it comes to Mustangs, we like Majoretti the best. Yeah, but if you want to race it, then you might want to go with Hot Wheels or Minis too.